Hey, what's up? I'm Adam with Aerial Motion Photography, and in this video, I'm gonna be testing out battery life between the new Air 2S versus the Mavic Air 2. DJI says that the Air 2 can hover for a maximum of 33 minutes, and then the Air 2S can hover for 30 minutes. One of the reasons why the Air 2S doesn't have as much battery life is because it does weigh a little bit more. It weighs 25 grams more to be exact. And when I did the math, that's a 4% increase in weight, but then it decreases battery life about 10%. So in my eyes, that's pretty extreme, but I don't really know how physics works with flying objects and stuff like that, but I just wanted to do some calculations to be prepared for this test. Both of these batteries, I've had them for about two months, and I would say there's about 30 flights on each battery, so I think that's gonna be a pretty fair test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch them both at the same time and just see which one lasts longer. I have a stopwatch on my phone that I'm gonna set, and then I'm gonna try to land these at 15% worth of battery. So, if that sounds interesting, let's get into it. Okay, so let me try to launch both of these at the same time. Whoa! Props just hit. Okay, let me spread them apart. Okay, sports mode, turn off the sensors. Okay, nice. Fast forward, here's gonna be the next video I'm gonna be posting. It's gonna be a sound test of the Air 2S versus the Air and look out for that video and also appreciate that i'm not going to post 20 minutes of these drones flying so i'm going to fast forward us to the future okay we just hit 18 minutes the air 2s is at 25 percent battery life and the air 2 is at 30 percent battery life and i'm going to be landing both of these drones at 15 percent air 2s just hit 15 percent so i'm landing it right now Okay, the Air 2 has about 5% more battery life than the Air 2S, so we're counting on down. It's almost to 15%. Okay, 15%, let's land right now. Landing. And stop the clocks. Okay, so the results are in. Drum roll, please. The Mavic Air 2S got 22 minutes and 12 seconds, and the Mavic Air 2, drum roll please, the winner of this event is 23 minutes and 30 seconds. So, no big surprise here. It says it's gonna have more battery life. It's lighter, and it did have more battery life. Also, when you're looking at the Fly app, you'll see the battery and they'll also have a countdown of how much time is left so we're going to have to add that time onto it so i landed them both at 15 percent so each drone also had about three minutes and 30 seconds worth of battery life um, supposedly once they landed so if you add that together that adds up to be about 27 minutes for the mavic air 2 and so that's not too bad for real world. Um, DJI says it's going to be up to 31 minutes and that's probably like indoors, closed, perfect conditions. And this was outdoors and it was a little windy, um, but I think it was the perfect kind of place to test it for. Not too crazy, nice, sunny. And um, it did get a little wild though. When I launched them um, both at the same time, I didn't realize how close they were and the props kind of hit. Um, so that was a little scary, but I don't know if you guys have ever tried to fly two drones at once, but it's pretty tricky. And especially with the sensors beeping, saying that there's something else closed, it was like twice as loud. And um, so I had to spread them apart and put it in um, sports mode just to you know, stop the madness. So I just want to have a little like recap. So let's say you're looking for maximum battery life, um, then you'll want to go with the Air 2. If you can spare a little bit, like 10% of battery life, I think the Air 2S is really worth it. Um, the camera, the 5.4K is insane. I don't really post anything in the 5.4K, but if I take that 5.4K and I put it in a 4K timeline, then you can actually zoom in without losing any quality. So I didn't know that was something that I needed, but now that I have it, I was like, I gotta use it. Because usually with drones, you're filming, everything's far away. So it's nice to be able to zoom in and to not lose any quality. And then for me, the master shots have been a game changer. I think if you just wanna do something cool, a quick video for your family, or if you wanna do something like 
business or promotions, um, it's really cool. It takes just, it does two minutes and does it all on its own and then it edits something into about 30 seconds. And you can just, from your phone, post on social media or you can save it and put it on your computer, whatever you wanna do. But I've noticed myself almost using that like every time that I'm flying. So they got the master shots, the higher resolution, and then one of my favorites, I don't know if I said one was my favorite or the other, but this is top three for sure. That's why I'm listing it. It is the antenna, the range. It has four antennas. So one inside of each arm of the drone and all the other DJI drones, the Mavics, they only have two antennas. So this one has four and that's what it allows it to have that extra range. So it has about an extra miles worth of range and you definitely shouldn't be flying your drone more than a mile, a mile away, but it's good to know that you can, and that means you can um, just be more confident and fly places um, that you might be kind of scared of flying, but you'll know that it does have better reception. So I definitely like that part. If you guys have followed my channel, you notice I do have some kind of crashing stories. You can click on this video up here. Hey, Sherry. Adam. Hey, what's up? Sure. 20 minutes later. So I think I talked enough and yeah, let's get to the outro. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like these and then check those notifications to be notified when I upload my newest videos. As always, my name's Adam. Fly safe. Take care. Peace.